To get this ball rolling today, Marvel's Wolverine now actually has a release window of Fall 2024 and it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive. I mean, ever since January, this project has been the front runner of AAA games and there's countless rumors on what exactly the game will eventually be in nature, if it's any consolation, however. Insomniac has said that it'll fall not that far off what they are good at, basically the Spider-Man games, meaning it'll highly likely be an action-adventure set in an open world as well. Bethesda Softworks and Marvel Games officially revealed that, in cooperation with Arkane Studios, the same developers behind Deathloop and the Dishonored games, are ever since 2021 working hard to announce new, mature-rated, single-player third-person action slasher game starring Blade, which will actually take place in Paris in the middle of a vampire emerge. Now, this game is a Microsoft exclusive and possibly coming out within 2024, if not early next year. Lock up tight now. Night's just getting started. Myths. History. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is officially on its way to PCs, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X, currently slated to launch within 2024. Great Circle was announced over two years ago, which is like a 20 second cinematic teaser. So obscure, we thought it's a puzzle game. And up until a few months ago, we thought it's actually another cancelled project. Regardless, though, the game is in great shape. It's an Unreal Engine 5 cinematic first person adventure coming from the famous developers of all the Wolfenstein video games. Throughout history, mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. run-ins with these guys before. Trust me, it ain't a walk in the park. Okay then, let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I can keep up? development on the working title Terminator Survivors or well, Terminator Survival Project. Number 4 we have, through its reveal on IGN, an open world survival game in the long running Terminator franchise that is being developed by the Korean developers Nacon and we finally got an update, in fact a trailer for it, early access on Steam, apparently it's a PC to next generation console exclusive. This game is now coming out on October 24 this year. Everywhere I'll name will be survivor. That 
being said, following the Dead Space's successful remake and a whole year wait, Motive Studios is now making a single-player action-adventure Iron Man game ever since, which was only a concept trailer in the beginning, we got an update on it too, recently. This game is coming to PCs and the next generation of consoles exclusively, of course, and will be a story-heavy narrative-paced game in nature, built with the use of Unreal Engine 5 and of course, set in an open world just the same. Suffering. Black Myth, however, as another AAA game we're counting days for ever since its first reveal, which is actually over two years ago already, not to mention it's actually the biggest in scale Chinese project in the making in terms of premise and scale. I mean, it's almost on the same level as the Honor of Kings World game. Anyway, I'm sure most of you already know it. The game is a Souls-like action-adventure built with the use of Unreal Engine 5, which is the same, based off of the greatest Chinese myth and the famous story Journey to the West. Anyway, good news is the game is gone gold. It's finally coming out on PCs in the next generation of consoles on August 20 this year. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Is my kind destined for extermination? You're driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, pray enlighten me. What justifies your superiority? Previous CTs as Budokai Tonkaichi, number 7, we've got now properly titled Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Yeah, so most of you keen to this side of the franchise, probably aware, it's been almost 15 or even 16 years since the previous iteration of Budokai Tenkaichi's, and the franchise is super hyped for years. Bandai promised to deliver an evolved Dragon Ball Z experience this time with the use of Unreal Engine 5, and despite the name Zero, it will actually not be a prequel nor a sequel, but a new start and story for both newcomers and the veterans. Anyway, Sega Corporations, ever since last year, is apparently busy working on remastering the 12-year-old Sonic Generations into now Sonic X Shadow Generations, which will technically have just upgraded visuals and 60 FPS gameplay, adding Shadow, his own story camp, and an old feature in both 2D and 3D levels, including new abilities on Shadow himself. Anyway, the game is now coming to PCs, switch into both generation of consoles in fact, around October this year, which has got a new trailer for it too. Shores, and I must call you home. 
to miss out on the chance to pick up on its official announcement, we've got actually a new Wonder Woman game, not like we really did have one before. Uh, coming from Monolith Productions, was the same folks behind the Lord of the Rings game, and so far in development for over two years. This game will be a single player open world adventure as well, uh, set in the DC universe, played in third person and featuring an original story this time. And in any case, we're still anticipating some gameplay and a release window too. You can be a leader. You are Wonder Woman. Well, number 10, we have something you ever called Kyborg. A uh, reveal almost a year ago to this day, in case you missed it, it's a fast action story driven roguelite, almost a hack and slasher, described by its developers as a mix of brutal fights, gore heavy fights, and an endless replay combined with a narrative pace. I mean, the game is apparently a time crisis based one and relies on decisions. Here's a trailer, this thing is coming to PCs and the PlayStation consoles only, possibly by the end of 2024. Announced roughly a month ago, now fully titled to Enenra, Damon Core, number 11 we have as the first work of his developers, halfway inspired by the upcoming PlayStation exclusive Stellar Blade game, uh, well, a hack and slash third person adventure that incorporates time manipulation elements in single target battles mostly. Here's a trailer. This thing is coming to pieces only mid to late 2024, and we actually just got a new trailer for it for those of you who missed it. Earth Defense Force 2, on the other hand, will now launch for the PlayStation 5, 4, and Switch only on May 23 in Asia, and then eventually a few months later, in fact, on September 26, worldwide with English voiceovers and subtitles and all that, developers announced. Additionally, uh, you see, there's a season pass with bonus characters and more missions when the English versions do. Check it out in case you miss it. This is now a co-op third-person shooting adventure, or as you can see, made in voxel-based design. Announced earlier, in fact, this morning, number 13, we have something here called Somber Echoes, which was one of the shocking announcements we came across since 2024, since it's the new work of the same team who made Moons of Madness, and seconds, it's a way better looking game than any other Metroidvania we've witnessed for years, even Ubisoft's new Prince of Persia. It's a two and a half dimension Metroidvania Souls-like, so about 3,000 years into the future, not to mention being made with the use of Unreal Engine 5 as well. Sir, 
initializing our live stream show. A thousand bullets. And last but not least, we've got once again Mullet Mad Jack. Definitely not an honorable mention, nor should have we ever put this thing at the end of any list. It's one of the coolest projects in the making, probably a number one in a list of first person shooting games, but nonetheless, it's a single player fast action shooter set in a future where man and internet have merged into a new being that needs dopamine every 10 seconds, like I do, right? Anyway, or else it'll kill him. That being said, the game is supposedly releasing on PCs only later this year. Checkpoint. Old school anime action. List now. Mullet Mad Jack.